welcome back y'all. Me and Cece are heading out this afternoon. We have to go run a couple of errands. We're gonna go to the coffee roaster shop. The granary is right beside there, so we're gonna run in there real quick, and then we're going to the dollar store. Hey Tyler, Brenda said sounds good. It's a lady he rides a horse for, all right? Here we go. Look, they have candles. Oh yeah, we have whole bean right here. Colombian. They have little espresso mugs. Look, it's Santa goat. <laughs> we put the coffee in the pan. Now we'll go to the greenery. recipe card holder. That's cute. A little mini pitcher. Grandma's biscuit and pancake mix. Bread and bun warmers. Key lime squares, olive oil cake, apple pie biscuits. Lemon squares, pumpkin scones, cherry almond scones, sour cream and chive party biscuits, gingerbread scones, lots of cast iron things. Let's see, bread pan, fajita pan, hmm. muffin pan. Sissy found the bath bombs. They have holiday jam. I was looking for Christmas jam. We might go with holiday jam. Hot cocoa mixes up here, salted caramel, white chocolate, peppermint, and original chocolate. fish down here today. Sometimes we see really big fish here. I don't see any. All right, y'all. We finished in the coffee place and the granary. I got some more of these kitchen towels. I love these things. A little tiny rolling pin. It's not really a rolling pin though. It's a recipe card holder. It's so cute. Sissy picked out a few things for the boys and we got some holiday jam in here. Now I got this clove chewing gum that I'm about to try. It's white. Um, and it feels like wax. <laughs> it really doesn't have a lot of taste. I mean, it definitely has a clove's taste, but not very strong. It's not terrible. I could chew on a clove. I could chew on this. <laughs> oh, they're having a three-day sale. Running on coffee and Christmas cheer. Oh, look at this joy cup. That's pretty with the three trees. That's pretty. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, that's pretty. I think I want to get a red ribbon to change out the ribbon on that thing I put above the sink. Do they have just plain bright red? All their ribbons and bows are 25% off. Hey, here's one with a snowflake. It's still a dark red. I wanted a bright, bright red. A lot of their Christmas candy is on sale too. Got some little mailboxes up here, bobbleheads. Holiday mugs or tins are buy one get one 50% off. They have lots of the pretty plates here, y'all. And bowls, lots of them. Some cute bathroom towel sets.
y'all we are back home it's almost supper time i don't have to cook supper tonight though because we're having leftovers i have leftover chicken pot pie leftover meatballs from the meatball night and my eyes are kind of my contacts are driving me crazy today so <laughs> they're being crazy some rolls to go with the meatballs if anybody wants to make a little meatball slider i'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken pot pie to bring in here titus is gonna be working late tonight so he's just gonna get some supper on his way home and i think jake's going bowling tonight so oh well there's one piece missing from this chicken pot pie somebody must have got a piece i got this rug from the dollar store it looks just like an old stamp but i put it on top of this really soft squishy mat that i have over here i'm gonna need to put something up under it though i could just put the rug but it'll still be slippery even if i just put that but i like this soft thing to stand on when i'm over here doing dishes and manly this used to be your favorite spot didn't it <laughs> He used to love to come and lay on the kitchen mat. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> when he was really little, if he was getting ready for a nap, he'd come and do just that, but he fit on it better back then, didn't you? Anyway, yeah, two times I've almost fallen already because I forget that I just put that rug there and when I step on it, I slide. <laughs> I also got this pitcher from there. It is so pretty. I just like, I wanna make some homemade eggnog or something right now to put in it. I got a few different Christmas crafts for the kids. They already did some Santa Clauses over here. Well, they started doing them. I know Sissy had one done. There he is. I got these little wooden wreaths. They're really cute. They come with the markers and the string to hang them up. And I got some of these 3D structure kits. Two of them are the reindeer, Santa, and the snowman. And then I got one reindeer, I mean not reindeer, Santa, penguin, and snowman with a gingerbread house. Then I got these Christmas trees. It comes with two in each one. I thought the kids could paint them and then, you know, draw some ornaments or something on them. I went ahead and got some paint and brushes for the little tree crafts and for the ornaments that we make from the old Christmas tree. Hopefully we'll get to do that sometime this weekend. I got this little set that comes with lots of colors and then I got extra white, red, green, and brown. And then this pack of just different kinds of brushes and sponges. And I went ahead and got some wrapping supplies since they had a lot of their bows, ribbons, tags and different stuff on sale. I got two things of ribbon. I actually had another one picked up, but it didn't have a barcode on it when I got up there. I don't know if it was supposed to be in a pack with some other ones or what, but anyway, it was really pretty. I think I might have showed it to y'all. It had, it was white. I think it was white with red house. No, it was red with white, like cabins and little stuff on it. Anyway, I did get the gingerbread man one and the little peppermint looking swirly things there. And then I got these little gingerbread man felt stickers. I'm gonna do some of the wrapping this year in just brown, like just brown paper, you know, like old fashioned, old timey looking packages. And I thought these would be really cute to put on there. And then I have these little gift tags that will tie on and I think it'll just be really pretty. And I got some tissue paper and I went ahead and got some scissors. I'm gonna put all this back up until we're ready for it. I do have a few things I can go ahead and wrap, but I don't have any wrapping paper or boxes yet. Chicken pot pie is even better the next day and a lot easier to slice the next day. You want to be the spinner? How about you be the spinner and I'll be the mopper? Ready? Go. Do it fast. A little bit faster.
making breakfast this morning and I have a fun little thing to make. Y'all know those Christmas tree, cherry, cream cheese, Danish things that you see a lot around Christmas time? We're gonna make one of those and we're gonna make a wreath. But instead of using cherries, we're gonna use the holiday jam that we got yesterday. And I don't have to make the cream cheese filling because I'm gonna use this cream cheese frosting. Now, the actual filling that you put in these cream cheese danishes is more cream cheese-like, less frosting-like. But I have all this frosting left over, so we're gonna use that. But I'll put the recipe down below so y'all can see, you know, the actual ratio of cream cheese and powdered sugar and all that for these. So we have our crescent dough. We're going to cut it into 11 pieces. Let's see. Two, three. We'll do the Christmas tree one first. So we're just going to stretch it back out here to a circle. And then we'll push down a little bit in the middle. That way we can put our filling in there. I'm going to spray my pan. And we'll start with the top. And then we just work our way down making the Christmas tree. Now, most of the time with the cherry ones, um, people use pie filling. There's the cherry pie filling and put a little cherry in. Those are very good. I've done them before with blueberry pie filling too. Also very good. So you can use any kind of pie filling or any jams or jellies. I'm actually going to try to shape this one into a trunk shape this time. Instead of just doing one more down here, we'll have a little trunk. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so now we're just gonna take our cream cheese filling and we'll squeeze a little bit into each roll. Just a little. Now we'll just take some of our holiday jam and we'll drop just a little bit on top of each one. And then they're just gonna go in the oven. I've already got it preheated 350. They'll go in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Down here on this one, we're just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Now we'll get the wreath ready, and for this one, we're gonna use strawberry preserves. Well, I've got news for you. It's time for it to be. 